They went in with badges and came out with boxes. Another Illinois lawmaker under the federal microscope. Surprise raids taking place today at the Springfield Office of State Senator Martin Sandoval, as well as his Gage Park home. That's where CBS 2's Tim McNicholas is live. Tim. Erica and Brad, sources in the Senate tell us these raids were a surprise to political insiders from Chicago to Springfield. People in this neighborhood were surprised to see federal investigators going in and out of Sandoval's home through this front door. From his Springfield office to his home near Midway Airport, federal investigators searched both properties today, both of them linked to State Senator Martin Sandoval. They stayed mostly silent as they left his home, carrying these cases and later boxes and a computer. One FBI agent told CBS2 Sandoval was not inside the home. Can you guys tell us anything about what brought you here, what you're looking into? They wouldn't say why they raided the locations as they packed up what they found and drove off. The badges and boxes might be a familiar sight to Sandoval's constituents. Part of his district overlaps with Chicago Alderman Ed Burke's ward, and Burke was infamously raided and then charged by federal investigators with racketeering earlier this year. Senator Sandoval also shares some boundaries with Illinois House Speaker Mike Madigan, and he's been a close ally of Madigan's for years. Investigators also carry boxes into cars outside Sandoval's Springfield office today. Sandoval was elected in 2003 and is the chairman of the Senate Transportation Committee. He was recently a chief negotiator for a $45 billion statewide infrastructure improvement plan signed into law in June. People in Sandoval's neighborhood say they know he lives here, but they don't see him much. They say he mainly keeps to himself. One man in the neighborhood tells me that he saw federal investigators right outside this home starting at about 9 this morning. We've been trying to reach Sandoval today. His office in Cicero is now closed. We'll let you know when we do hear from him. Live in the southwest side, Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News.